Hello everyone and welcome to Little Truce Man or Little Trust Man by PRC Production. I apologize for not knowing how to pronounce that because, well, I'm an ignorant American. Now this is a platformer with Tetris-like elements in it and also like kind of the ability to rewind time a little bit. It's kind of hard to explain, I guess, like the rewind time mechanic, but I'm just going to start a new game. I have completed the first chapter here and it took me a little while, but there is a little cutscene here. It's kind of a comic book style cutscene. I think the comic book style cutscenes look really nice. So somewhere in the world, well, I'll let you read. It's not, it's pretty easy to read, I guess. But this game, uh, once we get out of the cutscenes, I'll show you one of my, my main problems with it. Like one of my first problems with it. Um, the art style in the, in the cutscenes here, I think the art style is really good and it looks like really nice and painted, but once we get out of the cutscenes, not so much. <laughs> but basically the story is, this young man here, little trust man or little truce man, again, I'm just gonna call him trust man because, again, I'm an ignorant American that doesn't know how to pronounce words, so, yeah. Uh, so, little truce man here, just lost a dog, Tyler. And I just said I'm gonna call him Trust Man, and then proceeded to call him Truce Man. And he's not very, not very happy about that. So I guess we're gonna go do some platforming to save our dog. Okay. Yes, yes. You're sad. You're sad. And another thing: the cutscenes you see are in full screen, they're, well, widescreen, full screen, I guess here. Which I. I don't know, it's it's weird because once we get into the game, I'll be able to explain it a little bit better because you'll be able to see it, but like the game itself is not in full screen, which is very strange to me. Uh, can we skip this? <laughs> I mean, kind of dragging on the cutscene here. Okay, there we go. But the game is not full, it's like, it almost looks like it's, you're playing it on an iPod, if that makes sense. I mean that, I don't mean that in a derogatory way, I guess. But, uh, I, the background one is like a real life picture that it was photoshopped to look kind of painted, like a paint filter was put on it, and then the, the train, I guess, of the, of the, I was just, I was telling you how to jump, like the train, I guess the textures of the grass and stuff, don't really fit with one, the background or with the character here, uh, it's very strange art style, like it's, it seems very weird and, and kind of mix and matched, and there's not really one necessarily coherent art style. So you can collect these bones, and if you collect all the bones in every single level, I believe it gives you a god mode. Yeah, finish the level in god mode. So I'm not 100% sure what god mode does, because there's no enemies in the game, so they can't kill you. There's nothing to really kill you except for your own falling off the ledge. Or if I run all the way to the left here and the camera catches up with me, that will kill me as well. And. If you press tab here, it gives you the option to drop these Tetris-like blocks, which is going to help you, you know, overcome obstacles such as gaps or climbing heights, for example. This height I have to climb. I can't jump that high, so I'm going to have to drop a Tetris block right here to do that. Another major problem I have with this game is the camera. Now, most side-scrolling platforming games, you know, the camera follows you. Not necessarily in both directions, but usually at least to the right, which... Uh, this game it doesn't it just keeps panning and keeps panning until it reaches the end of the level and that I guess that adds a sense of danger to the game and that's pretty much one of the only things that can kill you other than the platforming and That's that's about it. I mean you never really feel too much in danger the thing that's going to kill you most is Kind of like the randomly generated Tetris blocks here uh, Kind of screwing you over when you're trying to trying to do it fast, but another another thing you can do in case you are in danger, just kind of push the screen back. I probably just killed myself. Yep. <laughs> Actually, just pushed my or pushed the screen back so far that it killed me. But um, yeah, you can you push the camera back to kind of like rewind time a little bit to give you a little bit more time to place those Tetris blocks in a scenario where you're kind of in panic mode. And here's where my main problem with the camera is. I have to wait for the camera to catch up to kind of progress through a level, and that adds a lot of frustration to the game. It, it, it genuinely does. Uh, I'm Most gamers really don't want to have to wait around for, for much, really. I mean, it's a frustrating element, to say the least. I mean, it, it's fine that the camera pans like this, but if the user runs ahead, I think they really need to have the camera move forward with them, I guess? Because if they're that far ahead, it's, 
again, you're just standing there waiting around. Now, the animations are fine, but when you're like in a standstill position and you jump, there's no animation whatsoever. And the following animation is a little, a little strange, to say the least. I mean, it you're just kind of standing in air when you fall. Okay, so this first level here, of course, is the tutorial level, so it's the camera's not being too aggressive. It's waiting for me. But later levels, it does not wait. <laughs> okay. Ah, you also do have to collect keys to get through the doors at the end of the level. The doors, again, the doors are like they took a picture of a real door and then made a sprite out of them, and that's just really weird looking to me. I think if they made the game kind of in that comic book style, painted world looking thing, I think it would look really nice. But, again, it's just... In his current state, is just a completely average platformer. Uh, and it's, it is available for $5, by the way, and... Uh, I'm sorry, but I have I have a hard time recommending this game for $5. I mean, it's a good game to kill a couple minutes with, but... Ultimately, a lot of times it just leads to frustration due to, like, the camera again, and... And the uh, randomly generated Tetris blocks here. Like, this isn't even a Tetris block. I'm pretty sure that doesn't exist in Tetris. Which is fine, but, I mean... Gotta have a little bit of a, a difference there. But, I don't know, it's... It's an okay game, I guess, but I... I couldn't recommend paying $5 for it as much as... I hate to say that. And it is introducing another element here. I can press backspace if I wanted to get rid of that block. So let's say I was like... Oh, I can't make that jump. I just press backspace and I could redo it. But, I mean, here we are again. I, I, I can't stress this enough. I'm standing around waiting for the camera to catch up so I can progress through the level. And gamers do not like to wait. Uh, I can tell you that much right now. So, he, okay, he just feels like running right now. Gotta build myself a little, little staircase here. That should... No, not quite. I need to do it one more time. There we go. But the music is okay. Uh, it doesn't... It feels retro, but because... I need to move my mouse pointer here. Actually, I'm sorry. But anyways, the music feels retro, but because... It doesn't necessarily look retro. It kind of doesn't really fit that well. I mean, I like the soundtrack, but it just doesn't it doesn't fit in with this game that much. One good thing to say about the game, though, is that uh, the platforming does feel right. A lot of times in platforming games, the platforming just feels floaty, and you kind of have to, like, I don't know, get used to it and adapt to try and, and land a little bit where you're supposed to land, I suppose. But in this game, the platforming actually feels fairly nice. Uh, you know, you feel like you're going to land where you where you plan to land. A lot of times, the platforms, let's rewind the screen here. Uh, you don't necessarily always feel that. Alright, so we just built our little thing here. I used to play a lot of Tetris in high school, so I'm okay with Tetris. But, okay, this is kind of a pain in the ass. Pain in the ass, this part right here. But luckily, as I said, I'm a pro at Tetris, so, I mean... Shouldn't be a problem, right? You think? So let's place... It's pretty hard to judge where the blocks are going to land as well, because you think they land where, like, the blue little line is? No, not necessarily true all the time. Which is fine, but... Uh, I can't rewind yet. Oh, man. And here's where the randomly generated Tetris blocks is kind of screwing me over. Uh, like that. I think I can make this... No! Okay, uh, well, I'm dead. <laughs> See, if... I don't know. That It's fine that the, the Tetris blocks are... Whoop. I just did a bad thing. <laughs> okay, I'm going to have to do that again. But it's fine that the Tetris blocks are randomly generated, but... Uh, because... They are, sometimes at least you being screwed over, and that's pretty much the only danger that you're in, is... The randomly generated Tetris blocks. Another thing... It, like, say I drop this on top of me, it doesn't kill me, it just kind of pushes me. And I'm probably just going to walk off the edge here, because I just kind of screw myself, but... Uh, yeah, I'm gonna have to... I'll just restart here, because I just screwed myself over intentionally, but... Uh, yeah. Another kind of weird thing is if I drop it directly on top of me, sometimes the blocks get stuck inside of me. Minor glitch, but it makes it so that you would have to either delete that brick, or... That block, rather. 
or restart the level. And restarting the level can be pretty frustrating since it brings you all the way back to the beginning and sometimes it can take you quite a while to build up a an arsenal of Tetris blocks. Alright. Music does kind of remind me of Mega Man, but this this isn't exactly Mega Man by any means. <laughs> I think it's actually spelling LTM, which is, you know, little truce man or trust man, however you pronounce it. They have those kind of Easter eggs throughout a few of the levels where, you know, you'll see LTM spelled out uh, in the little blocks. Okay, let's get some decent building blocks here so that we can we can build. <laughs> All right, I'm going to lay this one down like here. So that way I can kind of make a little staircase and drop that one. Like it's hot. And that should be sufficient enough to get over this obstacle. But so far, at least in the first chapter, it's a pretty easy game. There's not really that much challenge to it. I mean, yeah, I've died a few times, but it's... It's not like in... I don't know, it's not challenging in a, a good way, I guess. Like, it's not challenging because of the game's mechanics. It's challenging because... Uh, of the, of the Tetris blocks kind of screwing you over. I was trying to kind of place it there. See, there we go. Like, it, it's artificially difficult, I guess is what I'm trying to say. You know, it's not... It's not challenging because of the enemies, or because the platforming's tough, or because... Because it's hard to find the key, or anything like that. It's tough because... Uh, the camera, I mean the... The Tetris blocks don't always do what you want them to do, I, I suppose, is what I'm trying to say. But so far in this first chapter, it's it's been fairly easy going. And again, I have to wait for the camera, which is is frustrating. Uh, I can't stress that enough. Ugh. Get up there. See, I can probably even make this gap. A lot of the times, there's really no reason to even have to have to drop Tetris blocks. Can I make this? I don't think I can make this. Hopefully, this isn't gonna push me off the edge. Probably just screwed myself over. Yeah, kind of. Luckily, I have that backspace to save me. Uh, give me another Tetris block, please. I don't think this one's gonna work. <laughs> uh, hmm. Maybe I should jump back over here. And actually, this should this should work. No, I, it shouldn't. Don't listen to me. I'm a filthy liar. This one actually should work, though. I promise you. Don't listen to me, I said. Jeez. Actually, that probably would have worked, but I'm a scum lord, so... There's that. Okay, so I can do that, and then I can do that, right? Yeah. Look at me solving puzzles like a pro. <laughs> Alright, so level finish. That's level two of five. Oh, this one's kind of easy. The levels are really short, too, which is kind of unfortunate. I'm not sure if maybe they get longer in later chapters, which I kind of hope they would, because it would be a pretty short game otherwise. There are six chapters in total, but uh, if each level is really this short, it will probably amount to about, I don't know, a couple hours of gameplay, maybe. And again, it's hard to recommend the, this game for $5, especially if it is really only a couple hours. Uh, I feel like getting about an hour of gameplay out of every dollar that you spend on a game is a fair price for the game and I understand developing games is difficult I mean it's not it's not an easy thing it takes a lot of time and it's not always the most profitable thing in the world but uh, you you have your customers value their time and if if your game doesn't give them uh, enough gameplay for their money, they're not necessarily going to want to want to pay that premium price. Should be able to make this fairly easily. Eh, there we go. And again, this is the game is just it's not challenging enough to to be a platformer that stands out. I think the Tetris block idea is a pretty pretty cool mechanic actually, but Unfortunately, the game is just kind of poorly executed, and I hate to say that because, again, a few people spent a lot of hard, a lot of time on this and a lot of hard work on this. But uh, unfortunately, uh, I just can't recommend this game very much. I mean, if you feel like you want to try it, 
uh, it is five dollars on Desura. It is coming out October fourth. Yes, October fourth. It is five dollars on Desura. So, I mean, if you feel like you want to play this and give it a try, by all means, give it a try. I'll drop a link in the description for Greenlight, Desura, and all that good stuff. But this has been Little Trust Man or Little Truce Man again. Not sure how to pronounce it. And uh, as always, <laughs> thank you for watching, and see you next time.